Hey everybody, Brett from Stars Gaming here, back with part 32 of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. In the last episode, we went up against some undead that looked pretty scary. Uh, they outnumbered us almost 2 to 1, but we managed to get through the fight and not really take any significant damage. So that was pretty cool. Um, and we managed to avoid the other undead party that was roaming around. Um, I actually kind of wish we had gone back and fought them, and that's still possible, I guess. But uh, we took a job to go to Karstein because, you know, it's the next closest city, it's the beginning city, and we need to stock up on goods. So here we are, collecting our 120 crowns. Um, on the way back, so we left off here, and I said I would make this journey between episodes so you guys didn't have to watch. I stopped off at the Wildlands Lookout. And we grabbed a couple shields. I got a new spear, uh, the the second level spear. And then we grabbed the armor and the helmet that I was looking at like two episodes ago that I wanted to buy but we didn't have the money for. So we're at about 1900 right now with uh, a couple more items that we had. But before we do anything else, let's do some level ups because we got a lot of them. So with the captain, let's see... Um, I'm thinking some melee skill, I'm thinking some health, and I want to say resolve, but I kind of want to get his fatigue up as well. Let's take resolve, since he is the captain, you know, if he breaks, what does that say about our, our mercenary company? And now with his perks, I'm not sure where I want to put it. Colossus is tempting because that would put him into tier 2 of defense. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty tempted to go with like... Hold out might be good. But you know what? Colossus will keep him alive and that's more important to me. So let's do that. And that puts him into tier 2 now. And then with Olaf. He is more of a DPS type. I mean, DP, DPT, damage per turn. Um, he's not supposed to be soaking up hits. He's supposed to be dealing them out. And so we've got Sundering Strikes. I would like to go with, like, he doesn't have any AoE. Maybe Executioner. I think Executioner would be the best way to go. And then with his uh, skills, let's get him some health since it's pretty low. That didn't really help much. Let's get him some resolve. And his melee skill is high enough for the time being. So let's get him one more, one more set of points into Fatigue. Now with Torben... He's got these two. I'm always tempted to go quick hands with my archers, but if I if I do my job right, I shouldn't need it. So I'm going to go Sundering Strikes instead. That'll make his bow more effective against armor, and then it'll allow us to do Tier 2 offensive abilities. Whoops. Okay, over here. Definitely need some Resolve. And some Range Skill and Maximum Fatigue wouldn't go amiss. Then we've got Ulfert, who is new to the party. He's the witch hunter with the ridiculous hat. Now, with ranged characters, I almost always go fast adaptation first, and I think that's what I'm going to do here. If you're not familiar, it gives you a bonus to your accuracy if you miss. So, if he misses, the second shot will be more accurate. He needs some resolve. He definitely needs some range skill. And I think we'll throw the rest into Fatigue, because Fatigue never, ever hurts. Gurulf, I think is how you pronounce that. Gurulf? Gurulf? I don't know. Let's get him... Let's go Shield Expert. Again, with the Spear characters, I like to go defensively with their stats. He needs some Resolve. He needs some Melee Skill and some Fatigue. Now, Rupert. You don't have any... You're 
new, I guess, too. So we'll go Shield Expert as well. And I don't know why I keep clicking Stash. Resolve. Uh, fatigue. And I think we'll go Melee Skill. Although... I mean, his melee defense is pretty low, but his armor is compensating quite a bit. So let's go melee skill first. And then, obviously, we'll work on his defense as we go. Now with you, you are all offense. So how do I want to do this? Let's go Sundering Strikes first, because destroying armor is as important as anything. You need some resolve. You definitely need melee skill. And I think fatigue will be good as well. His health isn't going to be so important, because... Again, he's he's a semi-ranged character who isn't supposed to be soaking blows. He's supposed to be dealing them. Uh, I thought I'd put that in there. Okay. Hubert. Ah, uh, jeez. He's an axe man. Axe man, not axe men. But I'm tempted to go defense for him as well, although Sundering Strikes is a pretty useful thing for the axe guys to have. Yeah, let's do that. We can always go defense later. You need resolve big time. You're also going to need some melee defense. And let's get you some health. And then Torben. Do we have it? I think we have another Torben or something. Yeah, that's inconvenient. We'll have to rename one of them. I think with you, I will go shield. And let's see. Definitely resolve. Definitely some fatigue. We'll get him to at least 100. And let's get his melee skill up to 50 if we can. Okay, so there's all our level ups. Let's see what Karstein has for us. What's the job? Find the burn ruins. I'm not finding nothing. You guys can find it. I'm happy to clear it though. Now over here, oh, we've got some chain mail. I think we'll definitely take that. A uh, couple heater shields. Let's grab those. Another pike. I'm not sure if I like the pike or the billhook, so let's just kind of leave that alone, I think. Uh, the billhook's better against armor, and it does just as much damage. The only... Well, I mean, it's not even really a downside. The, the billhook does the same basic attack, and it pulls characters, or pulls enemies in. The pike is the same thing, but less effective against armor, and it can push them away. I don't find the push away so useful all the time because having them locked in combat is usually the better thing to do because if they can you know, move around you and flank you, that's worse than having to soak up a couple hits. So let's grab this leather, leather armor for sure and I think we'll take, I will have to see how these helmets compare to what we have. A crossbow is kind of an attractive option as well. So let's see what we can equip here. The captain definitely needs some mail, I think. So let's get him that chain mail. Now that means we can pass some of this leather armor along. And let's get Olaf some as well. Now, as I recall, this is not all that great. It's only 90. So, I think what we should do here, and actually before I forget, let's give him a heater shield, because the heater shields are better than what we currently have. And also, that one's going to kind of go useless until somebody dies or something. Um, so, let's see, these are 90, these are 90. This is 100. It's 105. You know what? We'll take the helmets and we'll find some use for them. And that should be really all I need. Except for maybe some ammo. We'll buy some ammo. Let's get rid of some of these shields, I guess. I, I just bought a couple of these, but they're not really going to be of any use to us. So we'll get rid of them. And this isn't going to be of any use to us. I'll hold on to everything else. But let's go back in here and distribute some of this armor out. 
I really wish I had one more set of leather to give to him. That's kind of unfortunate, but what I can do is I'll give Ferdinand this. And let's see, that's 115 versus 80. Yeah, we definitely want to get that on somebody. So let's give him a kettle hat. Uh, let's see. How's your... That's 115, 105, 115, 80. So we'll leave that there. Um... I kind of like the kettle hat look on the archers better, so maybe I'll do this. And give him the kettle hat. And where is our... Oh, there he is. Hold on, I'm going to give you the broken one. And there we go. How good is this thing again? 45. Oh, we should, we should replace that with something actually there's probably someone more deserving Hubert I think we'll give it to Hubert actually you know I don't like his like his face looks devious to me so we'll give it to him and then let's get rid of your hat and we'll give you this is 90. We'll throw that on him for now. And I think that'll do it. We're pretty well equipped. I'm tempted to grab that pike, but I don't know if we're going to need it. In the meantime, I suppose we could sell all this stuff off. We don't need these anymore. We don't need that. I really don't need this many of these, so let's get rid of two of them. And I'm really tempted to grab that crossbow. Range of five tiles. Do they have a bow to compare it to? Or I guess this is seven tiles. This is five. 40 to 60 damage. But it's more effective against armor. Uh, you know what? We'll stick with one. I like having the extra range. And then I'm going to grab this pike just in case. And I think that should be everything we need. What was this job? Oh yeah, we're going to pass on that. Is there anybody worth hiring? I don't think so. Baldemar is still here. A hunter. A retired soldier. He's the only one I really find interesting. For 500. Huh. Is there anybody in my party that's kind of worthless? You would probably be... Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. He's only level 2. So we will unload his gear. What are you again? You're a... I forget, but you were pretty good, I thought. Yeah, you're the worst I have and you're only level 2. So let's get rid of you. And we'll go back and we'll hire this retired soldier. Who should have a little bit better base stats to work with. As well as... Oh, he already has leather armor, so we can give this to Tillman now. But I think I would like to give you... Jeez. Uh, I don't know if I want him to carry a spear or an axe. I'm not sure. You know what? We'll just give Rupert an axe and call it even. I would like you to carry a heater shield though. And then that frees up this armor for you. And now I have another gambeson to give to our next archer. And that, yeah, now we're looking a little bit better. We got plenty of extra weapons too, which is always nice. But yeah, no no jobs for us here. So let's check out Stonefist Tower, I guess. And before I do that, I'm going to look at the time. Okay, we're just over halfway. And if they don't have anything for us, I think we'll hop down here and kill these orcs.
come on. What, what, what do they got for us? Oh, three jobs. And is there anything? Ooh, some fancy helmets. Huh, I'm, I'm tempted. But we just wasted a bunch of money. So, let's see. Are we going to need, probably won't need both of those. We probably won't need both of those. I don't know that I'm going to use the arming sword, but I'll hold on to it just in case. And, you know, let's get rid of a spear. We'll keep just one. That puts us at a thousand. I'm tempted to grab one of these. Oh, man. 150, 180. What does our current headgear look like? Though, that's 200, so maybe it's not as good as I thought. That's 215. 115. So they're they're good, but they're not that good. But that one does look pretty badass with the face cover. You know what? What are these jobs? Let's look at the jobs and then we'll decide. Elk's horn, that's pretty far. I don't think that's going to be worth the trip. Wow, that is a ton of money. Um, I'm not so confident because last time we fought orcs, we got, you know, pretty roundly smacked around. He'll pay us to reach Baden. That's not too bad of a job to take. Um, hmm. I'm going to take it. Then we'll go in here. I'm going to buy this. We'll throw it on... I don't know. How about Hubert? Because I, I want your face covered. Okay, so Hubert's got it. We'll go back to here. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to head down here. We're going to deal with this. And then we're going to go to Baden and collect our pay. Come on. Now, traveling through this forest at night probably isn't the best idea I've ever had. But I think we'll be alright. Yeah. Now we'll wait till the sun comes up. And let me save really quickly. Okay. Now let's fight it out. So just many young orcs. I think we'll be okay as long as we play this smart. Generally, the young orcs aren't very well armored, and it looks like there is plenty of high ground for us if we're careful. Now, the tricky part is going to be holding it. I'd like to get the archers onto here, so that means we need to get these guys past it. And then, let's see, so one, two, three. He's going to need to go here. He's going to need to go there. These two will have to go here. And then we'll have to try to form a, a shield line in front of them. But for the time being, he can just hang out. With you, you need to get to this point here. And let's take a quick shot at somebody. Let's go 58 on the unarmored guy. Okay, with you, you need to get to there. And I'll take a shot at him. You need to get to here. And if you got the shot, we'll take it. 66 with no armor. I think that's the best choice. Okay, so big hit to his health there. They're going to step up. Oh, wow. That was kind of interesting. I don't know how he moved that far and still got an attack. But yeah, we were playing pretty aggressively there, so it was bound to happen. Now, who can you shoot? 62% is probably our best choice, yeah. And there's a hit to his health. They're going to step in. And so, with you, I'm going to wait. Because those guys kind of need to fill in behind the main line. And so the main line obviously needs to get moved first. Um, I'm going to move him to can he not get to there or can he I think he can get there okay 
So he'll go there. You should probably step in front there. Okay, with you, I definitely need to get you to here. That'll lock him in combat, keep them from flanking. And I'll take a swing. Let's get you here. Oh, one more. Oh, we got really lucky there. I didn't even realize. And I'm going to go for a stun on him. Oh, we got it. Okay, with you. I need you to knock back him, please. And then we'll step to there. Perfect. So that's that was the most ideal way for that to work out for us, I think. And this is going to be kind of awkward. I need you to maybe bump him back. Okay. And then step to there. You need to get to there to protect them. And now the pikeman. Let's get you to there for now. Okay, so we got a pretty nice line formed here. No luck on that attack. Hopefully we can do some damage to somebody here. 72 on the wounded guy. Let's take it. Okay, we got the kill. These guys are going to close. Unfortunately, we didn't have a chance to set up our spear, our spear walls, so that might cost us. Uh, I'm going to go for him. Oh, completely destroyed his armor. Oh, but they came right back at us. Let's have you repel him, maybe. There we go, with a pushback, and I think that did a little bit of damage. And so depending on how this battle goes, we may run a little bit long, but, you know, I'm no stranger to that. Uh, we'll just keep going for it. 44, 29, these are 20s as well, 33... Okay, so he's almost dead. He's going to close in. I wonder if that's like a charge ability or something. I can't tell what exactly they're doing. Okay, his armor's destroyed. Now we'll get our shield up. He's stunned. He's dead. Now, over here, I think 30 high 30s. Or, sorry, low 30s. Oh, 81. I'll take it. God, that would have been nice if it could have killed him. But he's going to step right into our lines anyways. Nothing really standing out here. So I'll probably just help out here. And same is going for this side. So I'll help out there. Okay. There's the kill. We'll get his shield up just to be safe. No luck there. Let's see if I can stun him maybe. Okay, so we got the stun. 34, 34, 28, 18, 36. I'm going to help out with him. Okay, so we destroyed his helmet completely. There's a kill. Over here, there's another kill. No such luck on that side, though. Okay, luckily he's focusing on him. He doesn't have a shield, so he's more susceptible to damage. Let's kill off some fatigue. Um, there's no reason why you can't step down and help out. Forty-two or thirty-two. I'll take the forty-two, I think. Nine. I don't like the looks of that. I'll take twenty-nine, though. Twenty-two. Yeah. What choice do we have? These shots are kind of sketchy, firing over our lines. But we're hitting them, so we'll keep doing it. And there goes his armor. 
There's some damage. You guys don't need to bother. Uh, I guess I could start moving you. Let's see. Just don't kill anybody, please. No luck there. Let's get you moving down here, too. Ah, no such luck. It'd be really nice if we could deal with this guy. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. Could you please finish him? Thank you. Okay. So we took a little bit of damage, but no kills. And we actually got a level up, so that's pretty cool. A little bit of gold, a little bit of provisions, and a bunch of orc gear to sell. And let me see how we're doing on time. We're probably... Uh, we're doing good, actually. So... I'll go ahead and break the episode off here and sell off our loot in Karstein between episodes, and we'll come back. Um, I don't know. I think we will... I don't want to make this whole journey between episodes, but I might. Yeah, so we'll come back in Baden or on the road to Baden if something happens. But yeah, I'll take care of this off camera for you guys so we can do a little more action next episode. So thanks for watching, um, and I will see you back here for the next episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play.